Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see how to do coding in LaTeX. Basically, we are going to learn about how to prepare a report in LaTeX. So, we are going to choose the platform Overleaf. Go to Google the Overleaf uh, LaTeX, and the first option we are going to click. So, it is going to open the Overleaf software. Initially, I have already been uh, enrolled so i just uh, i'll just show you the initial step so this kind of window will come you have to first of all uh, if you don't have any account you have to register from here i'm already having the account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in with google there i'll choose the gmail account through which i have logged in and I log in to uh, log in to Overleaf. So here I have logged in. Now this is the home window of that. These are the reports which has been already created by me. Now I'll show you one small report which I have created to give you a demo basically any report will consist of say heading then uh, name of the person who has made it after that uh, there will be some like uh, certificate then abstract after that there will be some contents then list of figures list of tables and uh, then introduction a literature survey like that results and uh, reference or bibliography so these four or five features should be there so how to do coding for that so i'll create an empty project file and then we will start with it so here is an option for it you have to uh, open a separate tab then you have to click uh, press the control button and then click on this one so it will take you to the project window and here we are going to select the new project blank project and then it is youtube one this is the name of my folder which i have given here you can see that these are the document first line is document class article i'm going to create report so i'm going to change the name of article with report the news package graphics then title name is uh, this so I'm going to change it with say name of the project is uh, implementation of the uh, implementation of uh, say using KNN algorithm Now author is, uh, you can write your name, so I will return writing my name. Now date is, uh, if you want you can show the date, if you don't want then you can keep it empty. Now I am going to uh, recompile it. So this is that uh, one. Now uh, first page is implementation of using KNN algorithm, this is Amit's uh, name. Now here it is showing one zero point one introduction. So basically, when we write report, there it's, uh, the, this will not come. Uh, here we have to write name of chapter. So it will chapter. Now what will happen is this is that. Now I will this one. So likewise, now. So from here my project will start, report will start, begin document and end document. So I have to write everything in between that. Now I want to include abstract. So for that, Here I have written slash begin abstract and I have, write, I have mentioned some content. 
file recompile this it will generate its code so second page there is an abstract with some content and on third page there is an introduction what we have to do is we have to make a habit that with every uh, page we have to mention clear page why so because so that this introduction next heading won't come in and uh, won't get mixed with the at the first page content now i'll i'll put some of the content in uh, introduction also so you have to just paste this content in introduction part if i'll compile it then see some contents are there in introduction as well now i want to create some uh, the index page so we know that in report index page comes after abstract so after abstract here i have to mention the content uh, table of content so this is table of content this is my reference file and here it is table of contents so you can see that uh, this uh, name is contents and here introduction first heading came the page number of introduction is 3 so here it is showing the 3 now the thing is i want to have uh, to include uh, abstract also in uh, content page so to include the abstract also in content page what i have to do is i will write one line above the abstract begin abstract that is add contents line and i'll save it so you can see over here like abstract is also included over there in the content page now our report starts with introduction uh next section next chapter is of literature survey so i'll write first of all clear page why because else the uh, literature survey will start from uh, the same page of introduction now i'll write chapter So here literature survey came. Now, on this left side, the code will uh, we have to write down the code, and on the right side, its PDF will get generated. Now, uh, literature survey, I'll write some content like I'll write section because it's chapter two, so two point one section. I'll mention like uh, uh, machine learning. सर्वे ऑन मशीन लर्निंग नहीं फाइल कंपाइल इट सो इट हैज मेंशन द हेडिंग लाइक 2.1 सर्वे ऑन मशीन लर्निंग अगेन आई विल पुट सम कंटेंट इनटू दैट नाउ दिस इज सम कंटेंट सेकंड इज आई वांट टू मेंशन वन now more point inside uh, 2.1 survey on machine learning so what i have to do is section um, survey on python so in this way this code has been implemented uh, this is 2.1 now i if i want that this survey of uh, on python it comes under survey on machine learning then uh, i can write this as sub section sub section and survey on python now
if I'll save it, see, so this survey on Python is coming under survey on machine learning, that is 2.1, 2.1.1, so like this. Now, second heading should be a survey on AI, suppose, so again, section survey on AI. Next is 2.2 survey on AI. I'll write few lines in that. So I'll paste it. So in this way, uh, in literature survey, there is a, a point survey on machine learning. So that is written with the section slash section survey on machine learning. Now under survey on machine learning, I want to mention another point that is survey on Python. So I have written slash slash subsection survey on Python. Now separately I want to write uh, another point that is survey on AI but it should be under chapter 2 that is literature survey. So the survey on AI should be coming with slash section only. Slash, slash section survey on AI. Likewise we can create many things. Now I will create uh, another uh, chapter. With the name, uh, say uh, performance analysis. Performance analysis. So here, chapter three is performance analysis. Right now, I have not given this line clear page, but and still uh, that the third chapter is coming on the new page but it may possible that it will come on the uh, same page of literature survey only so what we have to do we have to make a habit of writing the clear page So this is that. In this way we can mention. Now I am going to include one figure, one figure in performance analysis. So first of all I have to upload a figure on the this page. So to upload that you can see over here the mouse I have kept on this side. Here there is an upload button on the left top corner. So I click on that. I will click on the select file. From there. I will go and I will choose one of the figure, any of the figure which I will found in my PC, like say this. So this name of the figure is figure 13 point jpg. Now I will write the code to include the figure. So the code to include the figure. code to include the figure is this one slash begin figure and slash end figure so here the name is figure 2 I will write the name which is uh, the name of the figure of my this is figure 13 so I'll write figure fig figure 13 dot jpg so now if I'll recompile or save it it will automatically include this figure over there I'll download the PDF and I'll try to show you This is abstract this is uh, whatever the content we have included that get added into content part chapter 1 chapter 2 performance analysis see right now that figure is getting cut so what we have to do is we have to uh,
we can mention the size also we'll uh, try it with some other figure So next is figure one point JPG. So you can see over here this is the figure I'll write center over there centering so you can see like figure is coming over there now I have to include one table also so for that the code is this one now what this code is showing so this is the caption means name of the table so my name of the table is name of the band in microwave with frequency range now begin tabular this line with P 1 centimeter 5 centimeter 4 centimeter now what it shows I'll just show you the output I'll recompile it, I'll generate the PDF and I'll just show you the output what, what and we'll match that with the code. So mm, clear page. And for a while I'll remove the name of uh, this one so you can see over here like this is my table now we'll match up the code so first of all when I want this uh, this uh, first of all this table consists of vertical lines and horizontal lines so this horizontal lines we have marked with H line so first this H line means the line you guess you are seeing above the serial number name of band in microwave and frequency range so every H line is showing the line what is the meaning of this slash BF slash BF means this content serial number name of band in microwave frequency range these all should be in bold so that is written with the slash BF now the content is serial number that is in first row first column and means this apostrophe and means this and means uh, name of band in microwave and then again I want to change the column and row so again I will write the and so I want to change the column I will write the, the and so it will change the column next is I want to go with next row so double slash now again h line slash h line means 
this uh, the line below the serial number uh, name of band in microwave and frequency range now i want if uh, one and high frequency and 3 to 30 megahertz so one high frequency 30 to 30 megahertz then h line 2 and very high frequency 30 to 300 megahertz 3 and ultra high frequency 300 to 3000 megahertz 4 long wave 1 to 2 megahertz likewise so in this way this table is generated it's easy like if you match this code you can easily get the thing the only thing is like what is this 1 centimeter 5 centimeter and 4 centimeter so we have three column the width of first column is 1 centimeter width of second column is 5 centimeter width of third column is 4 centimeter in the table if I'll give the caption name of this table so generally it, it is not happening but uh, I'll give the name wrong side. So this is the name of the table. Okay, fine. I've missed out the two top lines. So it should be in this way and then there should be the caption so while doing so it includes so this is my table now we have included figure we have included table now we'll come to the reference this will generate the report once So these are the contents we have added in the report. Now we will do with we'll go with the reference. So to include the reference, I usually go in this way. Uh, so uh, my this page is over, so I'll mention clear page later on. To include the reference, I'll write this two line that is bibliography style. I triple E TR and bibliography main. Now I will create one more file on the left side. Right now we have two figures and we are not using this figure so we can delete it also. We are using one figure only. So we will keep one figure only. Now this is my code main.txt. Uh, new file. I'll write the name of the file as main.bib because I'm going to include all my references over there. Now I have included these two lines in main.txt. So Suppose my reference is this one. So this is my reference. I'm going to paste my reference. Basically, uh, my reference is the heading of uh, paper of my reference is this one. So I'll go and Google, I'll find the text file for that, bib text, bib text file. So I'll go in Google, I'll go to the source page of that. I'll go inside this, here bib text for that paper is here. So I'll just copy this bib text. And, uh, I will paste that 
in my main dot vib page so my reference is i'll save this control s i'll just check whether it is included over there right now uh, i have not cited it so once i'll cite that so it is going to include so suppose i am citing this in performance analysis so here cite there is one reference so that is there you can see the reference has been included in the same way if some second file is there second uh, reference is there so i'll paste the second reference in google i will generate its uh, uh, bib tech uh, uh, lines for that and i'll paste that bib tech uh, code in uh, main.bib page and then i will cite it anywhere wherever i want to cite so it will automatically include in my bibliography or in my references usually i used to go in this way only in case some uh, you are not uh, like for this reference bibtech uh, lines you have you got for your paper uh, bibtech lines you got for your paper but in some of the case you are not getting the bibtech directly so there are two ways usually 90% you, for the references you will get the bibtech how because either the source will be your IEEE or source will be your research uh, uh, gate research or any uh, any other source page so there uh, you will get the bibtech uh, bibtech lines for your reference in case you are not getting then you can directly google it you can convert you can generate the bib tech lines of your reference and then you have to paste that in main.bib and there you can cite it so it will automatically you can see that in the big uh, bibliography graphics bibliography so these are the main things which are uh, uh, there in any of the reports you can see like uh, abstract is there the same is included in uh, your content part later on uh, introduction is there second chapter is literature survey third chapter is uh, uh, performance analysis there you are having the figure as well as table also later on uh, you are having bibliography also so in this way there are n number of things available in latex in terms of ppts in terms of report so whatever i mentioned in this video these are the basic things with respect to that you can add many other stuff also so for that you just need to google the code and you can paste it in uh, your main file so it will automatically give you the uh, generate the report of that i hope this video will be beneficial for you to learn the basics thank you